Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So today we're going to be showing you how to install the Solar Sheet 1500 HE. So this one is a dual um, solar panel system so you have to take note here. This is a 48 volt dual head solar sheet system. <laughs> Please use the attached single red wire harness to connect the black wire on the one power volt, 24 volt power cell to the red wire, 24 volt power cell. This will create a single series based 48 volt power unit to run the fan and thermostat. The remaining black wire on the one PV cell and the red wire on the other PV cell will provide you with the necessary power to connect the harness on the fan. <laughs> Thank you, your solar home. They're awesome. So, solar sheet wall installation manual, version 3.2. We're gonna be doing it just like this, horizontally. So, this tells you all the information about it. Tools required. Safety glasses, drill, hole saw, five inches or jigsaw, measuring tape, level, wire cutters, fish tape, pliers for crimping, <laughs> number two screw bit, 3 16 hex head driver for attaching the tech screws to the mount, fourth inch hex head driver for securing the white head screws to the diffuser plate, 21 and 21 64th drill bit for drilling the grommet hole, fourth of an inch drill bit for seating the plugs in the fan assembly. Hammer or rubber mallet, silicon, not essential. Drill with hex head socket driver, ladder, and a vacuum. So, let's see here. Drilling the holes for the solar sheet collector. Locate an unshaded portion of the building for collector placement. Using a level and included template, template located on the back of the bottom box. Mark the location of the bottom mounting rail and intake and exhaust duct locations. Be sure to avoid wall studs and electrical wire. Level out the template on the wall. Be sure to avoid shading from overhead eaves. Cut 5 inch holes through the building wall using a hole saw. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to get this up and all level. And then I'll go from there. All right, we are back. So I have the wall all cut open. I think I'm probably gonna have to end up taking this down again in the summer because I'm gonna paint the house. But for now, it'll work. So I have the one in there and the one in there. And we are good to go. I cut a little bit of a hole over because I ended up just touching my stud here. So I had to move over my stud finder did not tell me the truth so next step installing the fan attachment installing the fan assembly the next step is to install the fan assembly plate on the inside wall of where you want the exhaust and heat the fan assembly can be installed on any outside wall for roof or ceiling mount, continue to use our DC inline fan, part number 1015, AC inline fan, or fan box, part number 1174. The fan assembly comes with a three harness attached above. Two of the harnesses are brown thermostat wire with white and black wires inside. The shorter brown harness is for attaching the sensor and the long brown harness is connected to the thermostat. The third harness is gray with black and red wires and is connected to the 20 watt PV panel. Cutting the inside wall for the fan plate. Use the back side of the metal fan assembly to trace the outside. You can use you can also measure the inside flange. Make sure you mark the inside of each tab. Do not cut the outside template of the tab or else you won't have any wall to mount the plate. 
This is going to be where the plate ends and the tab is inserted into the wall. Mark here for cutout. Use a pencil to mark each tab where the bend is located. You will need a jigsaw, sawzall, or small handsaw to cut the wall. Use a 3 8 drill to start the hole before you cut. Mark the holes for the plate where the plugs and screws to hold in place as, you, as well. You will need a fourth of an inch drill bit for the plugs. Alright, so what we are going to do is take the fan assembly, head over to the wall, and what you're going to want to do is do that, and then you want to cut it, and you just want to cut out the bottom part. That way, when you put the fan assembly in, that bottom part there will go in it. So, this is what step we're on. I'm going to get that done, and I'll be back. Alright, so we have that all done. So next, what we have to do is drill the snap lock duct. And what you're going to be doing is drilling a little hole in it. And using this grommet here, so you can put this temperature sensor through the duct that you're going to then attach to the back of the fan and pull the sensor through so that you can put it in the back of the panel once you get it all done. And then you're going to attach the collar and secure to the wall with silicone. So I'm going to get that part done. And then I'll be back. The hole drilled and the grommet in. So then we use the short brown wire and that goes in there. And then what you're going to do is connect the temperature sensor with these plugs here they gave you. And then That'll be in there, and that goes inside the back of the panel once you get it all connected. So we have the HE, so it's a little bit different than the GS, so we don't have these black things that just slip right up against the back of the panel. We actually have two collars that you have to drill a hole in the back of the panel and then put these in. So we're going to do that right now, and then we will go to our next step. So, there might be a few other things that are slightly different here. So, I'm going to get the holes drilled in the back of the panel. Once you go to the back of the panel, you'll see there's already a hole there. And then you just cut out through the insulation. And then we're going to get these inserted. And we're going to go from there. So, I'm going to get that step done. And then we'll continue on. All right, so we have that all hooked up. I left it cut off a little bit far because I don't know how far the panel will have to be for it, so I'm going to have to test it. But we have the temperature sensor hooked up. Then I'm going to pull the PV panel wire through here as well. Not in the duct, but next to it. I'm going to run that up and over and put it over there. So that's how it's going so far. Next, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to drill a hole in the wall right above where this is. And I'm going to use some fish tape and I'm going to get the thermostat wire to come through the wall in there before I silicone this all up and then pull out the PV wire there. Back. I am back. So I have the fish tape and I use that and I have the thermostat wire right there before I get that all in and siliconed up. Then I have the PV panel wire going out, so then I can run it however I'm gonna do out there. And we'll go from there. So next I have some duct mastic I'm gonna put on this thing so I can get it all sealed up. And I'm gonna put the thermostat on the wall here. And we'll come back and we'll go from there. All right, we're back, so. 
I have it all hooked up and installed on the wall. So next what we're going to have to do is go and cut the holes in the back of the panel. I pulled it up here onto the deck. So what we're going to be doing is cutting this hole out in the insulation here. And then we'll be connecting these collars on. So we're going to do that and go from there. All right, I got the holes, the insulation cut. So next what we're going to do is attach the collars. And I have some duct mastic, so once I screw them on, I'm going to mastic it and seal it around there so it's sealed to the back. So I'm going to get that done, and I will be back. All right, we are back. So I have ducts all connected there to the back and I have it masticed up and then I use some aluminum duct tape as well so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some foam and foam around the pipe here on the outside of the house and then I'm going to push it up against the house with these jack stands and I'll do the top mount first and then the bottom one so I'm going to get that all done and I'll be back all right so I got the top mount on and then I was able to do the bottom mount, so we are good to go. I don't know if you can tell from this hole, but I foamed it all up on the outside, and then I just pushed it up against the house. So there's a good, nice thing of foam around there. You can kind of see it there all the way around, so it's nice and sealed and watertight. And then I have the PV panel wire coming over here. Here you can see the foam on this one a lot better, if I can get back there. So I think I'm going to round this up over the door and I'll put the two PV panels over there on the other side of the door and that'll be pretty cool. So that is the plan. I'm going to get the PV panels up and I'll be right back. Alright everybody out there in YouTube land. We have it working. I don't have the <clears throat> PV panels up on the wall yet. I'm just doing a test to start now. And it's working wonderfully. I am quite happy. So, I'll get them up on the wall here. And then... I'll be a happy, happy solar person. I gotta still get some clear silicone to put across the top here and stuff, but I'll get that done. So that is how you install the Solar Sheet 1500 HE.